Okay, hello everybody. Uh, I want to start my presentation with a well-known dance, and I want everybody joining my dance, like a good morning dance, okay? And it's a dance called Hacker Dance. If you want to join me, and please join me, uh, get a comfortable place for yourself, and can you please stand up? Please. <laughs> Okay, um, because of time limitation, I want to make it so quick. Do what I do, say what I say. Okay, here we go. It's weird but fun. I use it in my classes. Okay. Who? I, I, eh. Who? I, I, eh. A chica, chica, chimba. A chica, chica, chimba. A mushy, mushy, mushy. A mushy, mushy, mushy. Okay, this is a kind of energizer I use in my classes. And my name is Setenay Çelik, and I'm from Turkey. I have been teaching English for four years uh, to young learners. That's why you must always be energetic with them. And while I'm teaching, um, I came across with some difficulties and challenging with the young learners. As you all know, uh, the problems I had mostly were based on their characteristics because young learners were, are actually, uh, so energetic and they are curious and these are some pictures uh, from my students. As you can, as you all know, they are so energetic and curious but uh, one of the most important features they have was they are really like uh, imitating the teachers, their gestures and their speaking styles. But the thing made me search on this topic was that they learn very easily, but they can forget very quickly. And I'm teaching, I'm trying to teach vocabulary to them. One lesson, they're okay. When, when we come back, oh my God, they forget everything. So I said, what can I do? And the other one was that, uh, they have a very short span of attention. They can try to do with other things. When you see someone there and then you turn back and come back, there, he's not there. Where is he? He's trying to find some more um, lovely things. That's why I need to, to be, I, need to, I try to get their attention more. And then I came across with the idea of brain. Because I'm not a neurologist. I'm not a scientist, but I uh, learned that if I can get their brain, I can teach them because each part of our body has a function. When it comes to learning, we need to be aware of the brain's facts, not like a neurologist, but as a teacher. So let's go very quickly. I asked the question, what goes on in my student's head? And I found out the idea of neurons. The neurons were like that. If you want to join me, you can do it. Um, you can see the, your arm um, showing the neurons parts. This is the axon part. This is the uh, neuron part. And these are the dendrites. If our students learn something new, something very new, it doesn't matter how important it is, the neurons connect with the other neurons, axon part. This connection is learning. And if we can um, make this connection clear and stronger, it means that the learning stays forever. If we don't do anything, if we don't repeat the information we give, if we don't um, teach the vocabulary the way they like, 
the connection gets broken, so they, start, they end with forgetting it, sorry. And this is the very general picture of neuron. And in, a, in, a people, in the people's brain, there are 1,000 billion neurons, so it's so miracle. We can do whatever we want if we can use it with the kids. Very, very general. Of course, there are other parts of the brain. But my favorite one is the amygdala. This is like the heart of our students' brain. If we can get the heart of students' brain, we can teach them however we want. Learning occurs in this part, in hippocampus part. But if amygdala is not interested in learning, if it's not having fun, then it hijacks the hippocampus, so learning is not the way we see. That's why, as teachers, we firstly get the heart. We must be funny. If there is no fun, there is no meaning for the kids. Let's do whatever you want in a funny way, not a strict way. And to do this, we need to meet the students' brain's needs. And the movement <laughs> is so important. Let them move around the classroom. I always let them move. Uh, of course, as long as they, dis they don't disturb the others. They move around. Whatever I do, I do with the physical things. They don't sit like that. We, okay, stand up and let's do an activity like this. Movement is the key. Vocabulary is the most important one for the young learners because they take the first step, like the bird in ELT the talks. They take the first step to learn vocabulary because um, the, without vocabulary, they have struggle in uh, expressing their thoughts and ideas. And how we do it. First impression, repetition, personalizing are the three keys I use in my classes. First impression is the funny step. They must think that, okay, Miss Setena is doing something fun and I want to learn it. This is the first impression. If you can't get their first impression very well, they, they never will care about what you do. Repetition, do whatever you want quickly and quickly and in other contexts and in different places at different times. Repeat it all the time, as long as you can do. Personalizing is so important because they put something from their heart to the thing they learn for the vocabulary. I want to show an example. Um, the thing I do in my classes with repetition and personalizing. Who wants to play a memory game with me here? Just to, to, to show what I do in my classes. Just one young learner I want. Nobody? Okay, thank you. Quickly. Okay. These are the pictures I use in my classes. You can come here. And I will show you the pictures. Okay. Uh, think that I taught them to you, to her, okay? There are some pictures, and at the back side, there are other pictures. I will show you the pictures one by one to you. I want you to remember what is the back side of, the pic of each picture, okay? Sleepy. Box. Cold. Door. Thirsty. Or we can say tired, tired, window, dizzy, dizzy, mirror, hungry, the picture, hot, scooter. Are you ready? 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 Okay. What was the back side of it? Clapper! Yeah. Cold? Door. Yeah. Door. And sleepy? Congratulations. Was that hot? It's hot. Scooter. Scooter. Okay. Scooter. Yeah. Quick, 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 quick. Hungry. Was there a shower? Oh. <laughs> In uh, the picture. <coughs> dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. 
Mirror. Yeah, mirror. very good. But clever, thank you. And no, 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 don't go. Thank you for joining me. This is from Turkey. Thank you so much. Thank you. And um, if I tell a story about these pictures, you will remember them very, very easily. This is personalizing. How? He is dizzy because of the beauty of the girls on the mirror. Okay? And these are the stories that are told by my students in my classes. No, not my students. Not my, myself. My students' stories. Uh, he is dizzy because of the beauty of her on the mirror. Okay. She is so hungry that she wants to eat the picture. Okay? She is so hot because... She's hot because... Because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the subconscious of my brain. Okay, she, she's hot because she has played with the scooter all day. She's sleepy and she wants to sleep in the box. Funny things. She's cold, so she closes the door. He is so tired that he cannot reach the window and put a closet. So now this time all together, I will show the pictures and... Shout very, very quickly what is at the back side of the picture. She's hungry. <laughs> what? She's so hungry. No, just say the word. Just say the word. Picture. 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 Very good. Mirror. 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 Very good. Window. Very good. Door. Well, very good. Box. Congratulations. It's got nothing else. Just cooler. So this is personalizing, okay? If we make up stories, they personalize. This is the little poem I wrote <laughs> for you. As teachers, we need to be ready for the lesson. For young learners, we need to be always active. Uh, we need to be interested in dinosaurs, cartoons. Wimpikit is so famous nowadays in Turkey. And we need to be neuron connectors. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you.